Ch like in Migori, one of the one of the one of bloggers blackmailed our fellow journalist. And again, this thing on the other hand also brings a lot of conflict between uh, journalists and the side bloggers. The side bloggers, because you realize even there are some politicians who believe what is posted by the the blogger they trust to them seems to be the truthful information than what is actually on the ground. So I think as a nation, this is something that uh, we need to open up uh, uh, a national conversation. Uh, the threat that blogging impose on uh, journalism as a, as a career and as a, a representative of the common man. If a politician will use bloggers to threaten you, it means you are doing a good job. The whole idea, all the whole concept has been propaganda has been a tool in politics. People want to thrive using propaganda. You are not in a particular place, but you have pictures of this particular place, this is what you did, and this, and this, and this. Just to win the people's heart. A general will come, then follow the story, then bring the contrary. So at the end of the day, Politicians, they are not really interested about getting the real facts coming to the public, but they want the propaganda. That is why you see that particular kind of conflict. If I see a journalist doing a good story going to picture me badly, I will want to use propaganda to bring a different story. Now I'm